So continuing on from where we left off, uh, we pretty much added the grass, we added this tree line in the background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, some people, you know, add some trees as well. Um, so you can just go to Google and of course, you know, you can type in tree, PNG, etc. I have a lot of these already saved, so that's what I'm going to do. What I recommend is anytime you save these or find these images, uh, save them to a proper location so that way you can actually start to find those again. So I'll go to data, I'll go to um, components. Um, Photoshop post-production and then I have all of these for example trees right so let's say I want to place a tree in here um, uh, there's some grasses that I want to place so I'm gonna click that as well file open there's some trees that I want to add to so that's a tree I can add now you realize they all have transparent backgrounds so let's say we have this long grass I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna copy it onto here and then I'm actually gonna make sure that it's sitting above my image and then I'm going to start to kind of place some of the grasses along the edge of my house to almost add some, you know, some vegetation to uh, my, my drawing. And what I'm doing is I'm just kind of adding those grasses, you know, to the back ends of the house. And, and you can use different brushes um, or different bushes and different uh, trees or flowers. And depending upon kind of what you want your rendering to look like, that's kind of how you would uh, set your workflow. So I just added some simple kind of grasses. Um, so yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. Um, then we're going to add a tree. So we're going to go back here and we're going to select this tree. It's like a smaller kind of, some kind of fruit tree, like orange tree or something. And then we'll just kind of place it. Uh, there's not a lot of room in this rendering, for example, if you didn't notice. but. Um, we're just going to place it behind the house, right? And then you can, of course, just make it darker. Once again, I recommend using the blur tool, um, sorry, the burn tool to actually burn out some of the leaves and make it look a little bit more realistic. And sometimes for the trees, what I'll do is I'll lower the opacity so that it's not as stark of an image um, that's running into this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a sky in the background. Um, so we can just type in, uh, you know, um, sky PNG. And then we'll just find a, a pretty decent image that we can use. Something that's not too strong. Something that's kind of easy on the rendering. Uh, we can even type in, for example, a rendering sky. So this is uh, fairly good too in terms of kind of what you want to look for. So let's say we're using an image that's uh, similar to this. Go to copy image. I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to place this sky into the background. So that's kind of the sky that we have. And you realize that it is way too blue. So we need to actually go to image and kind of edit it a little bit. So it's going to lower the saturation. Yeah, it's just way too blue. So that kind of, that kind of looks more realistic compared to kind of the effect that I'm trying to go for. Now that we have a sky, let's add some people. Um, so same thing, I you know I have a file where I have a lot of people saved, and um, let's go to people. There's different ones. Um, let's have someone kind of walking towards I guess, uh, the house. Um, uh, let's see. And one thing that's very important is the type of people you have. You want it to look like they belong into that image. So the kind of the perspective of that person is really important. So my person is huge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale them down so that they look proportional to the size of the project. So this is a, a six foot eight doorway. And this is, you know, typical uh, height would maybe be like five foot five. So this seems like an appropriate scale. So this is kind of the person that I have uh, for my um, rendering. So what you can do is either you can have a person actually in the color, you can actually lower it, the opacity to actually make them, you know, don't take away from the rendering itself. But let's say we want it to be completely black or completely white. So we'll go to image adjustments, use saturation. And let's say we can make the person either completely black or completely white. I think white looks a lot better for this kind of image. So we're going to select white and then we're going to lower the opacity to maybe like a 770 sounds good. You can of course kind of move them around to kind of get the proper location. 
Yeah, so you know, this looks a lot better in terms of just a simple rendering. Um, one thing that I typically add to renderings is for the edges of the rendering, if you want the focus to focus inwards, one thing you can do is you can actually add a very subtle black border. So we'll go to the wand tool. We'll make our size brush maybe like a bit larger. So that's too large. Yeah, so this seems good. We're going to add a new layer and we're going to change our color to black. And we're going to create almost a black kind of background um, for the house. And then I'm going to lower the opacity of that um, to something very light. And yeah, and that kind of starts to frame the photo and kind of adds kind of a mood to it. And if it's too dark, you know, you can always just go back and just kind of clear it up a little bit. And then lastly, once you're done with the rendering, just, you know, add some text and you can just name this um, whatever you want to name it, right? Uh, small house uh, exterior render. Right, or maybe like for example, casa. I don't know, like a or like villa, something. Right, exterior render. Right. So, and then just you know save that image, and you'll let's compare this to the image that we actually had first, and let's see how different that looks. Um, okay, so this is kind of the image that we had. Um, right now and I'll show you the image that we had from the first render so this is how it looked in the first render and this is how it looks um, once we do post-production so it's a lot more believable it's, it's a lot about just kind of adding you know colors the right texture and shading and making it look like it's something that you would see in real life um, but yeah that's a quick render